is suffering from uh, self-confident okay we have a Muslim calling mr. submission to Allah how are you mr. submission hello hello uh, mr. Prince yes how are hello. you mr. submission good to hear you good yeah, to hear you wa alaikum wa alaikum I'm fine uh, <laughs> yeah yesterday uh, I after uh, watching uh, your videos all right I went to ask because uh, I've been watching uh, many of your videos mm -hmm. for almost one year. All right. I've been asking myself if uh, the proof you were uh, bringing to Islam were true. I went and I went to ask uh, some scholars and uh, about who Allah is. All right. Truly, I just want to have a sensible uh, and uh, I believe that he Allah is a spirit He's but a when I went there uh, they told me uh, it's forbidden it's haram uh, to, to say Allah is a spirit yeah actually uh, in Islam Allah is and, a spirit is rejected it's this idea is rejected. That, yes oh uh, uh, yeah and uh, uh, I was so confused that when uh, I asked them that he has faces he has to right hand is and he has leg but uh kef uh Hada, allah alam they said how yeah, yeah, how, do how we say that allah alam and yes. how can i describe allah mm -hmm. and what is your and i want to and they uh, when i see them they told me that you have soul and the chef told me bring a scenario you have can you be a soul is soul is a solid a ruh means a uh, solid or a liquid or it is a gas he said that as you cannot differentiate a soul uh, your voice is cutting okay, see, uh, in terms of human mind uh, a submission your, your voice cutting is, is cutting just tell me you know when he was saying to you liquid or etc from there i lost you if you, you can repeat please okay uh he said that uh i want a uh, proof of for uh, for this he said that uh as you cannot diff you explain your soul roh mm -hmm. just like let's he said uh can you say a roh is a liquid or a solid mm -hmm. he said that no a roh is not a liquid or a solid mm -hmm. as, as as like that you can you cannot say allah is like that no you see, uh, he just he, all, he all just said uh, Allah know the best. He is just giving you confusion. Okay. Like, okay. What is the what is the answer after all of this? Yeah. Like the answer, right? He is just blah 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 blah. I got confused because because why confused. he is even comparing the spirit to a liquid? I mean, this is a stupid mm -hmm. idea, right? Who nobody is saying that the spirit is a liquid, uh -huh. and nobody is, is thinking that if I open the faucet, I'm going to have a cup of spirit. You know, mm -hmm. that is that is a crazy. But because he mm -hmm. had no okay. answer, he's trying to confuse you, so you get in. <laughs> with no answer you get out with no answer anyway but you think you get the answer you see let me let me show you they asked muhammad the same question okay. as you ask you know and i think you, okay. you you wanted to know this this answer for this as you said because you were watching my videos right okay yeah if we go in the quran it says uh that the uh, the people they ask muhammad they said to him and you speak arabic mm -hmm. Wama uti to mumina la ilmi illa kalila, chapter yeah. 17, verse number 85. Okay, they are asking you about the spirit. Say the spirit is from my God command. Where is the answer? No answer, you know. And the Muslim, they like in the translation, they try to say yeah. inspiration. It doesn't, it doesn't speak about inspiration, it speak about the spirit. So, you know, why Muhammad himself have no answer? Because simply Muhammad is an ignorant man, he do not know what to say. The spirit is very simple. I mean, I do not need to be genius to tell you what is the spirit. Spirit is the power of life. You know, like when I when, when somebody is dead, why he is dead? Because his the power of life, which is given by God, is taken from him. So now he is a dead body, right? When his spirit is, okay. is within him, life is in. So it's, it's it is simply okay. it's the power of life. Yeah. And this power of life is made by who coming from yeah. who is coming from God. So God he give life. You can say it's a created life. You can say it's a it's a gift life. You can say whatever you want. However. The life, all of it, is coming from from one life, the life of God. Life, God is living God, okay. right? That God is living God, and all life is coming from Him. So, 
if if can you say uh, in Christian in uh, Christianity uh, how uh, God looks like, or can you describe in terms of uh, human mind? My friend, God is a spirit in for us as a Christians, right? But in the same time, okay. because He is Almighty, He can come to us in any way He wish. I mean, who can tell God what to do, what not to do, right? Uh, you know, it, it, the Muslim they say to you is Holy Spirit. Is that correct? They say Jibreel yes, is the Holy correct. Spirit. Okay, Jibreel yes. came to more to Mary it's as Muslim Quran. as yes. Muslim. They say came to Mary as a spirit, but appeared to her as a man. Okay, okay. is it logical to it, accept yeah. that a, 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 a spirit, which is an angel, mm -hmm. have the power to transform itself to be a perfect man, but God cannot? It doesn't make sense. Who is more? Who have more ability to do things? The angel or God? So the angel can transform himself to look like a man. But the God of Islam, he cannot. Same time, if we read the Muslim Muhammad, uh, uh, like uh, hadith, yesterday we were talking about it. Muhammad, he said, he compared between the Dajjal and he and, and his God. And what he was comparing about, he compared about the look. You know, but the, 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 the Dajjal is a human being, supposedly he have a, the physical being of a human being. And he said to them, your God is not our, is not one eyed, right? So uh, uh, why you are giving then a description of a human being to God if he is not a human being okay why you talk about hands why God he have hand anyway I mean if God say be is going to be what the hand for you know for me I, 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 I have the Quran in front of me I cannot say the Quran open unless I use my hand correct but, but, yeah, but, right. yeah but if I can say Quran open the Quran open for me I do not need a hand <laughs> right if I if I can think just in my brain that okay uh, a TV start the TV will start I do not need to know you see in the old days you know I, I don't know how old are you but in in, in when I was a kid we, we we have to go to the TV and turn it on by hand if we change channels we have to go there and use our hands right but now wow. uh, uh, now you can do voice command uh, what wait what wait a second they uh, they say that uh, uh, when uh, they gave me a uh, Three Quran ayah, and uh, one he said, uh, yeah, no, Allah is your Lord, and uh, ask forgiveness for your sins, right? So, and the other is, uh, uh, I am Allah, yeah, when he revealed to Moses, mm -hmm. I am Allah, mm -hmm. and uh, just like serve me he said serve me somewhat like that it's if you remember mm -hmm. I gave that verse too this is uh, our what we believe to do in islam is to serve Allah because knowing of him that's all we do yes but so islam uh, is exist to uh, uh -huh. uh, we are uh, created to serve allah but how uh, why allah needs servants anyway you see i can say i'm a servant of god to serve uh, uh, but the purpose is to serve other human being because God do not need my servant my, me to be a servant you know I mean God he's God he own everything he, he can say he can do whatever he want you do not need me who I am I am it's, it's like you know okay imagine you're in your home and then an ant little ant come to you and said I'm your servant what do you want I mean this is silly right what an ant can do for you nothing so uh, 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 this is just comparing an ant to you what about comparing us to God? We are nothing, you know. The the, the whole Earth is like a dust yeah. in the in this gala in, the, in in one galaxy, like not even a dust. This is how small it is. So, what servant of God and what what they are talking about? The whole idea is that those Muslims do not know who is Allah. They have no idea how to answer a question. Actually, uh, the Quran say clearly that you should not ask a question. Why? Because if you ask. Uh, uh, you know, uh, a question you will leave Islam. So ask not questions. Uh, uh, you know, uh, otherwise you are going to leave Islam. If you read with me, chapter five, verse number one or one, it says, "Yeah, you have a Amen. Let us alone. Any Asia in Okay. Why there is a okay. such, why there is such a verse in the Quran? I mean, what the point of this verse? Why why I should not ask questions? Because simply Muhammad, he have no answers. He's a false prophet. 
because Allah doesn't want too many Christians because uh, just it's uh, said that uh, right? my, my friend, my friend, Allah and his Allah, messenger. Allah do not want questions. That doesn't make sense. It's Muhammad who don't want questions because Allah does not exist anyway for me. Allah, the, the, the people are not asking Allah. The, Muslim, the people are asking Muhammad, right? The people never saw Allah, never yeah, met Allah, never right. spoke to Allah. So they're asking Muhammad. So he's saying to them, Oh, you believe? Ask not question about things which is, if made plain to you, may cause you in trouble. Okay, why is going? So who are you? What are you coming for? Imagine now, I say to you, call me, ask me questions, and then I say, you you call me, and I answer you, I saying, Oh, who you believe? Ask not questions. Well, you told me, ask me questions. You told me you are a prophet. You told me you are a teacher. You told me you are a master. You told me you are the one who have a guidance. How you have a guidance, but yet we cannot ask you questions. You know. So ask not questions and 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 verse 102 it says why because some people before you Did ask such questions okay. and on that account lost their faith So those questions will make you became an atheist maybe Make it may make you Christian maybe make you a Hindu maybe but will not make you a Muslim because if you ask those questions Obviously Muhammad will get busted You know what I mean? Otherwise, it yeah. doesn't make sense. Uh, yeah, see, I got see, you. you. I see, understand. Yeah, and you see, if if uh, uh, any because, uh, any false teacher, uh, I, 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 at last I found why. Uh, 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 Your voice is cutting off. Uh, submission. Uh, I found. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can you? Okay, try can now. You listen. Okay, try listen. Now. Yeah. Actually, uh, it, you, uh, all what you said, I've been asking, and I want to. Uh, I would like to ask you uh, because uh, uh, how about the Warsh Quran in the Hafs Quran? And uh, recently, when I can, I'm, I'm very sick. And uh, uh, do you know the Warsh in the Hafs Quran? Yes, the Duri Quran. Yeah, what about them? Is it is it real? Is it real? Well, you know, I believe nothing in Islam is real. You know, it's it's a collection of there's no proof of it. However, they are exist. Okay. They are exist, and there's a lot of okay. differences between them. You know, um, and uh, like if you go to Morocco, you will see that the Moroccan, as I know, they don't mm -hmm. read Hafs Quran. They read Warsh Quran, right? And you can, yes, uh, right. can and you can go and read the Warsh Quran. And you will see there's a uh, the differences. However. Uh, the the story of uh, differences between the Quran it does not make sense we, and why God he want to send seven Quran to Muhammad but he want to he want to send seven uh, Bible to Jesus you know uh, why and why the people are not capable as Muhammad he said to understand the uh, the, the, the Quran if it's uh, sent in one recitation uh, that does not make sense too because simply uh, if uh, if if the Quran saying that we explain the Quran in the details, you know, we make it a clear Arabic and de with details. So why they are not capable of understanding the Quran? So Muhammad simply, uh, I, I was saying that to the previous caller before you. I don't know if you, you hear me. Muhammad he could not repeat the same verse twice correctly, for he is a fabricator. So he have to come with a lie to explain why he okay. is. You mean a uh, prophet? He said that he forgets verse from the Quran. Yeah, you know the Muhammad. Yes, Muhammad he forget the Quran. Uh, you know uh, there is many uh, many hadith speaking. Can you give me proof, uh, can you give me proof from the Quran? He uh, uh, forget. Uh, yeah, no problem. Uh, uh, I, will, I, will, I will give you. Okay. Yeah, Muhammad. Uh, no, uh, uh, he forgot that even though the Quran is saying that we recite to you the Quran and you shall not forget, but yet. The, the the Sahih al-Bukhari confirmed okay. that he he uh, forgot the Quran. Okay. If we go in Sahih al-Bukhari, let me let me get you the uh, the reference from Sahih al-Bukhari. Hold on. Uh, it says, okay. uh, you know, uh, speaking about a man who recited verses, and Muhammad he said to him, "Oh, uh, like may Allah bless you, because I remind me of verses which I forgot." You know, uh, read with me carefully. I don't know if you can see the screen. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Allah Apostle heard I see. Them, uh, yes. heard. Yeah. Okay. You want me to show it you in Arabic? Which one you want? English or Arabic? English. It both. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. So, you know, I will, uh, I will show it to you in Arabic now. Uh, so, as you see the story here, Muhammad, he, he heard a person reciting the Quran 
And he said, may Allah bless you, you know, you remind me of verses I totally forgot, you know. And I was, look what he's saying, which I was caused to be to forget. Now, uh, how Muhammad forget the Quran? Uh, why this happened? You know, the Muslim, they say that the Quran is preserved in the chest of the Maybe he's a human. Maybe, maybe. I understand, I understand. He's a human. But, 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 yeah, but, you know, but that, all the humans correct. can forget Cor uh, Correct, but things. this, but this is, will, not, will not make sense. If Allah said to you, you will not forget the Quran. Remember that uh, uh, in the Quran it says, okay. We are going to 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 uh, uh, to give you Quran, and you will not forget. So if Allah promise you that you will not forget, you know, then you will not forget, right? Uh, because this is God, you know, that God He can make miracles. It's a miracle not to forget ever. So well, Allah, Allah, a human, or a hadith, if. Uh, uh, I will cut another man who made a mistake. No, no, uh, we yes, yes, but, but, uh, were made. Uh, hold on, hold on. We were uh, made to make mistake. Right, and, right. No, no. Okay. This, you see, the Muslim and you and you are uh, coming from a, a Muslim family, and you are a Muslim. You know that the Muslim they say that Muhammad, uh, uh, when it's come to religion, he is uh, protected, masum, correct, masum. He don't make error when it's come to religion. Yes. He make yes, an error protected. have to do with the human being yeah, error, yeah. but not to religion. Here the Quran chapter 87 verse number six you can read in Arabic it says so no do you know what does that mean yes we what did it? you not forget okay so what we, we forget what the Quran <laughs> right yeah okay so now where is the promise of God if God he said to me you will not repeat, lose the, I repeat the verse again chapter repeat. eight chapters 87 verse number six repeat the verse again so no okay and this is the translation of anyone you want you know so if if god he made a promise that you will not get sick i will not get sick that's it that's god if god said you will not forget i will not forget not because i am the superman but because god he said so you know so when allah he says to him that you will recite to you and you shall not forget well muhammad shall not forget but then we find that muhammad he forget quran and then we find muhammad saying that he received the quran in seven letters to cover that issue you know, actually, Muhammad in different verse in the Quran, he confirmed trying to cover his problem with forgetting Quran by saying the following, which is a very funny uh, statement. I find it, uh, you know, and uh, I don't know if you will agree with me or not, but I understand you are a Muslim and you will not like what I'm saying. Read with me carefully, please. How this can happen? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I understand this verse. Yes. Why Allah if, uh, Why? He made you for <laughs> yeah. get this, we will bring the same or the better. Does it, but, but does it make sense? I mean, you cause me to forget it to make the same. Well, what is the logic? The same uh, doesn't make sense, but because Muhammad he cannot recite the same verse twice correctly, so now he says, Oh, Allah caused me to forget, but don't worry, be happy, Allah will give me another verse the same. Or even better, uh, you know, the funny, the Muslim, they say to me, can you make Quran like the Quran? Well, Allah himself, he is saying he made Quran better than the Quran in this verse. Because he's saying, if we cause to forget, we are going to substitute something better or similar. Allah will make Quran better than the Quran? Or similar than the Quran? Why? Allah, he went to class and he studied the language of uh, Shakespeare. And now his English is better, so he's going to make Quran better than the Quran? Does it make sense? How the Quran of Allah is better than the Quran of Allah? Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, okay. Can you, uh, what, what, what is the contradiction? Uh, there is no contradiction in the Quran. Whenever I read the Quran, it's, uh, it's normal because, uh, uh, let me say uh, something. Uh, why the, there are uh, peaceful Muslims? I grow very uh, Muslim family and uh, they, they refer, and there are other sides too uh, uh, submission I'm losing your I'm losing your uh, why is this I don't know uh, submission uh, if you have okay. other, uh, uh, hold on if you have other are you using the phone or using computer uh, I'm, I'm using phone okay can you uh, do me a favor uh, hang up and call me back close all the other application I think your internet is not good 
and maybe there is some applications using the internet so you can have a better voice can oh, you do okay. that? call me back okay all right thank you oh, okay all right because we want to we want to understand okay, what you I'll are saying you, you know okay. we, we, everybody want to understand what you are saying and uh, uh, you know just call me back in when you we close all up thank you all right uh, guys imagine we have God he says I'm going to cause you to forget the Quran and I will make something similar or better I mean who is the crazy here <laughs> who is the crazy here uh, imagine I say to you, okay, did you get my book, The Deception of Allah? You say yes. He said, okay, forget about it. I'm going to cause you to forget it because I'm going to make something similar. Similar? Why you want to cause me to forget if it's similar? It is similar anyway. I mean, who is the crazy here? You cause me to forget it to make something similar? What does that mean? That is the madness. But this guy, he have to make up this excuse, for he cannot, you know, recite the same verse twice. All right, welcome back, submission. Hey, okay. Uh, um. Okay, go ahead. I think uh, are your uh. Or, uh it's somewhat I found it uh, convinced. I don't know what to do, but the okay, the car. Yeah, it's okay, just go ahead. What do you want to say? We are listening. It, yeah, uh, his internet, it's uh, it's you know, it's uh, very scary. Yeah, uh, it dropped off. Say again. Hello. Yes, I hear you. Go yeah, ahead. it's it's it's, it's, it's uh, uh, Can you show me a single harf that has been changed in the Quran? Harf that has changed. Well, in the verse in front of you it says to the, to you has changed. <laughs> However, if I want to show what? you, I can I can show you, I can show you the uh, you know tons of of uh, uh, you know misunderstanding as an example. You know in the Quran the story of uh, uh, the the three Christians and their dog. Yes, they were in the cave. Yes, you re you remember this story, right? Yes, I remember this story. Okay. And you know that dogs are uh, bad animals in Islam, correct? Yes, najis. Yes, and they are najis. So, okay, here now, how we can explain this? Okay. That they are awake. Okay. How this happen? Their dog is open his two hands. There's dogs don't have two hands, my friend. Have you ever heard of a dog have a hand? No. Dogs have no, four I, legs. It has four legs. Correct. So this is a mistake. Or the one who wrote the Quran, uh, he got it something wrong. This is not. Oh, this is okay. not. This is not kelbahum. This is kaliahum. Okay. Kaliahum is the one who provide them and support them. That is an angel. This story is copied from the Christians, which is written in the fourth century, long before Islam, written by a Christian okay. priest. You know, uh, he is from okay. Syria. It's a fiction story okay. about a group of a Christians. Can I get that book? Can I get that? Yeah, book yeah, you can uh, right now. You can search in Google. Just search in Google right now. It's a very famous story. It's called the Seven Sleepers. Seven Sleepers. It's not a secret, you know. Sleepers. Okay. Yes, you know. Okay. Written long before Islam, and here, okay. Muhammad, uh, or let us say, it, it, uh, copying the story of this fiction story from the Christians, claiming that its true story happened. And about those Christians, and look, if, you know, if you read the story with me here, they say some they say they are three and their dog is number four, and some they say they are four and their dog is number five, and some they say they are they are five and their dog is number six, and blah blah blah. So, but what what is the number? That, you know, still there's no number. What is the answer? It's a stupid. I mean, why you are saying to me some they say three and some they say, and then they say to me Allah knows best. In the same time, how you say you speak Arabic, I speak Arabic. We don't say. They are five and their uh, and their dog is number six because dog is not a human. 
we we don't yeah. add we don't add in numbers like if you if i say to you uh, go and see how many people in the house you say to me seven people you don't say to me five people and and there is number seven is a dog you know that doesn't make sense and here it says actually it's not even saying that look what it says Sorry, they, are, they, are th they are three and, 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 and if, three uh, and the fourth you, you yeah go ahead well someone told me someone told me the prophet sallam, he with a corpus if you bring a sahih hadith i swear uh, i will I, I don't understand. Say again. I, I lost you. If, if I bring Sahih Hadith, yes, about he he slept with uh, uh, someone. Some uh, person. He texted me that he, uh, your prophet slept with uh, a dead woman. I didn't accept that. She she said that. Hmm. Is it? Uh, but I am. I, I was looking uh, searching for that verse, but I was not able to get it. That verse uh, in the Hadith or uh, anywhere in the. Because uh, <clears throat> I sometimes feel that uh, some Christians um, make allegations on the Muslims. Um, uh, actually, uh, what you showed me is, uh, is, is, is really uh, c convincing. And uh, uh, at last, uh, I, I, I have to say that... Uh, uh, hello, can you uh, I, I, listen I to you. me? I hear you, I hear you. Go ahead, I'm listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And... Uh, Yes, uh, it's, it's full. I can see that it's full of contradiction. I believe that now. So, um, do you, do you like you know like did you decide to leave Islam? Yeah, that's I wonderful. That's wonderful. I'm not going to ask you where are you from. You speak because Arabic, I can. You know that I can. Yeah, I cannot refute it anymore. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's I wonderful. Not bring proof anymore because everything is clear. So I advise you I not mean, to. I tried for many many years and. Uh, yeah, I advise you to change your name from. From submission to Allah to something else, <laughs> you know, because your name is submission to Allah, you are not submitting to Allah no more. That's a good news. Uh, okay, I, I will, I, I will, I will read. Uh, uh, and then I will read uh, uh, Bible. Okay, also I will read. Okay. Well, I'm so happy for you, my friend. And uh, uh, okay. if you have a question about Christianity, I will be happy to answer you. If you have something to say, yeah. Uh, if you like to know about okay. uh, why I am a Christian, I will be happy to answer you too. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, uh, 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 the, the most important is, it's not really to be Christian or to be. Thank Muslim. you for helping me because I've been all your videos. It was it was very. I remember very. Uh, I was sick when I heard uh, the first time your videos, but as, uh, but later on uh, I went to. Uh, ask when I ask people, they were all offended and they were angry. And now I've turf. I went to sunnah.com, Tafsirs, and other websites and looking, searching here and there. Uh, at last, all what you said is true, and uh, I live uh, my religion. I renounce the belief. That's wonderful, my friend. I'm so happy for you, and may the Lord anyway, bless you. May the Lord bless you and and uh, give wisdom in your life. And I hope that your family too, they will leave Islam as soon uh, as possible. And if you need my help to convince any of your family, I will be so happy. Uh, uh, you know, to, to help. Yeah, because I'm not supposed to follow the one who changes words every time. Every time that there is in the other place, it is. There is no compulsion, and I read that, and I. Uh, the voice is cutting. Except that people have given it his friend. Uh, from and this and that's just full of uh, following when I, I defend Islam anymore. That means well, that's uh, wonderful. Man. I accept that. If you have thanks for you because you thank you. Even if I'm very shivering right now, and uh, thank you, brother. You're welcome, my friend. I'm so happy for you. And uh, you know, uh, don't uh, don't be scared from the change you did. You did you did good. You know, this is a change for better. And the devil is not going to, you know, have a power over you unless you uh, give him the power. You know, it, it, actually, even the Quran, there is, I don't know if you know the verse, uh, the Quran says that uh, uh, Allah, he said to the shaitan, that you have no power over my follower except the one who follow thee. But the funny, the Muslims, they say that Muhammad was controlled by black magic. 
and that means that Muhammad was following the devil. So Muhammad is was he bewitched? Yes, they say he was bewitched, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. yeah. And can you give me that? Uh, uh, what do you want? Uh, uh, from uh, hadith, uh, hadith, uh, is he bewitched or not? Yeah, I only need the volume and uh, yeah, sure, that's very easy, yeah. you know. Um, Muhammad, not only he was bewitched, even he, you know, and the hadith confirmed that Muhammad he used to, uh, to imagine himself sleeping with his wife, but the fact he never did. Read with me carefully here. This is Sahih al Bukhari, okay, and this is the reference. I will put it on the screen. Hadith number 6063. Right, and this is okay. Sahir Bukhari. Okay, Aisha, she okay. said the Prophet continued for such and such a period of time. Period, okay. imagine that he slept, which means have sex with his relationship with his wives, but in fact, he did not. All right, and why this has happened? Then the story speaking about that he was under the effect of a magic which was okay. made for him by a guy, his name is Lubaid ibn Asam, and you can read the whole story, you know. So uh, uh, you know, imagine we have a prophet. He have all the problems in the world in this prophet, from a child molestation to sleeping with the wife's son to black magic to imagine himself doing things, but in fact he never did, including sex. Which means even the sex of the prophet was unreal. You see, I mean, I can't imagine that somebody is married and then he speak about sex, and then we find that his sex even 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 sex have no witnesses. You know, because when you have sex. You have a witness. It's your wife, right? Yeah, we could. Uh, yeah, but here, right, because uh, but, but, but here, that, uh, when uh, I can't say you know anymore, it's Taif Hadith. It is Sahih Hadith because I don't have to because I have to be genuine that your proof are real. And uh, well, we are showing in the stream. I myself uh, found this also, and uh, it was really hard for me to believe this. He was bewitched, and, uh, uh, and also uh, you know very how, sad how he can be uh, all, all of my life. And, uh, very sad. Uh, you know, it's okay. You know, like uh, uh, you see here, cha chapter fifteen, verse number forty-two. It says, "Inna ibadi laysa laka alayhim sultan illa man ittaba'ak min al-gawin." Okay, what does that mean? My followers, my slaves, you have no power over them except the one who follow thee. Okay, Allah is saying that to the shaitan that you have no power over anyone of my servant, which means the Muslims, except the one who follow thee. So how shaitan have a power over Muhammad putting black magic on him? Based in this verse, for the shaitan to okay. be able to do so, he have Muhammad, he have to be following thee, the shaitan. Correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, that, that, yes. Then, then it, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a crazy thing. So, uh, obviously, this person uh, suffering from, uh, I believe Muhammad uh, as a character at the end of the day, he is suffering from mental issues, mm -hmm. you know, um, and always he tried to cover. Was, is, is that true that he was also uh, poisoned at Khaybar by Safiya? Yes, yes, he was. Uh, uh, you know, not by Safiya, but by, 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 a, by a Jewish woman. I haven't heard this all over my life. Yeah, well, the Shia, uh, the Shia, they have different story. The Shia, they say that the one who killed Muhammad was Aisha and Hafsa. Uh, but Prophet uh, Wah. Yeah, but uh, but uh, but the Sunni they have different scenario. Uh, they they believe it was. Uh, hey, thank you. Uh, I will call you. All right, no I will call you. I understand. You and I will tell. Uh, I will tell my wife also. I will let her uh, understand because uh, she was. Uh, Actually, she was the one who led me to watch your video, and I've been watching. That's and, wonderful. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, yes, she was the one. I was angry at her first. I was really angry. I, I, I would ask her apologies uh, because I, I beat her once because I was annoyed because I was uh, failing. I was protecting my face, and uh, later on, after watching many of your videos, I finally found out that it's really convincing, and I left Islam. That's wonderful. And I will ask you other questions. And uh, that's may the Lord so. bless you and bless your family and your, your wife and your kids. Okay. And uh, uh, feel free to call uh, me anytime, you or your wife. And if you have any question, okay. May the Lord bless okay. you, my friend. Take care. Okay. Bye -bye. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. bye, -bye.
All right. Today we have a wonderful day. Here we go. We have a, a gentleman who decided to leave the cult of Islam. And, you know, I understand people, they fight me in the beginning and they hate me. I understand. I mean, it's not easy. It's not easy, my friend. Someone who pray to his God five times a day, bow down, think he's a real God. And then you suddenly you see someone saying something never heard before. Like what this guy is talking about? What this crazy Christian prince talking about? This guy is a... He must be have a lot of hate. This guy is disgusting. My friend, I show I show everything in the screen. Nothing in my pocket. Okay, we have a caller. Hello. Hello, CP. How are you, my friend? Yeah, uh, a very interesting uh, chat that you had uh, with a person before submission. Um, I'm a Christian myself, and. Uh, I just want to ask uh, about the topic that you discussed before about Muhammad uh, forgot the a um, the mess messages from God. So how how do you um, explain about his mission as a prophet? But then what about the the lawful lawful the tablets on the heavens? Uh, you mean al al Mahfuz? Yeah, 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 yeah. The, that's, the, that's the, the one. You mean the how, how could the protected ta yeah, tablet? Yeah. The protected tablet. You mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's yeah. the one. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, the, the, the uh, Muhammad, he have a lot of uh, uh, fiction stories, and he is copying from other religions. You see, if you uh -huh. if you study uh, other religions like the Zaradesh, you know, the the Persian old yeah. religion. They mm. they have a belief in things like this, like you know, like the the version story is coming from the Persian. And you know, if you remember, uh, Muhammad he used to spend many hours with a guy. His name is Salman al Farisi, and you know what Farisi mean? I mean the uh -huh. Persian Salman, uh -huh. Salman the Persian. Uh, Farisi Persian. Yes, Persian. So yes, uh -huh. so he spent all night with him. Even Aisha, she said, like we were afraid that we you know, like we are jealous from uh, Salman because he spent time with the Prophet at night more than his people. You know, like he says, stay with us. So. Muhammad yeah. learned a lot of things from Salman al Farisi, and whatever he hear, he's observing and he is using it for his religion. So uh, suddenly we have in his religion we have versions, you know. And yeah. Suddenly we yeah, have the, in his the funny th the funny thing is that uh, if he's um, a chosen a prophet from God, then and then the message that was sent, every message was sent by God, if it is eternal. And they haven't, then why he forgot? You know, do you know what I mean? Yes, and, and, and uh, not only this, the, it's the, very funny, very, very funny argumentation, I think. And you see, uh, if, if, if Muhammad just forgot the Quran, and uh, uh -huh. uh, you know, as, as the previous caller he said, well, he's a human being, it's, it's well, possible, that is possible, that's true, yeah, it's, that's it's, possible. But doesn't it, make any sense. Yes, but when, when God He says to you, you will never forget. And this is what the Quran says. Allah is saying to him, yeah. We will give you Quran and you will not forget that Quran. Then you forget the Quran. Yeah. Obviously, this promise is a false promise. Yeah. So Allah is a false God. That's true. So this is a statement of a false God, false prophet, who said that he been given the promise from God that he will be giving Quran and he will not forget the Quran. And then later we find him forget the Quran. And then he started making you know like a, a Excuse by saying, Oh Allah, if He caused us to forget mm -hmm. the Quran, He will give us something better. But this is contradiction for what you said in the reverse that He will not forget That's the Quran. Right. So, and why Allah He will cause you to forget the Quran anyway? So, why He sent it? You know? Yeah, so, so the, the, um, all the, uh, message or the, uh, the, the ayahs of the Quran in the earth is not eternal, right? Well, I believe the Quran is nothing but a, a, it's a yellow pages. It's a collection yeah. of stories. It has nothing to do with the, you know, but the, the, the Muslim idea is that this Quran is preserved. But if anyone is studying the Quran, you will find that the chapter of Al-Fatiha has not even existed in the Quran. You see? The first chapter of Al-Fatiha, the first chapter of the Quran, mm -hmm. it does not make sense, you know, because uh, uh, if, you, if you read carefully, if you ask the Muslims, what is Al-Fatiha? All right? They will say to you, yeah. it is the opening of the Quran. Okay. Yeah. And what this opening? They say to you, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a prayer. Okay. It's a prayer. Yeah. 
and this prayer is made by who you know uh, they say to you yeah. this is given uh, by Allah all right but read with me carefully yeah. my friend it says here something very weird because uh, you see when they ask Jesus how to pray Jesus he said to them pray like this but here okay the one is talking supposed to Allah read carefully it says in the name of Allah the most gracious most merciful praise yeah. be to Allah Allah saying praise be to Allah so it's very very confusing Allah, words, Allah is saying in the name of Allah you, it doesn't make sense yeah. you see if the if the chapter if, if the chapter start if it start with saying it's saying like say or pray like this or say like this then it makes sense mm -hmm. there's there's many verses in the Quran says say say you know that makes sense yeah. but here there's no saying so Allah is talking in the name of Allah uh, most gracious why Allah is saying in the name of Allah? so who who is the one is talking I say in the yeah, name so of which that, got a yeah if uh, is I, there any other God in again and if I am a Christian That's prince, question, isn't it? if I am a Christian prince I will not I will, I will not say in the name of Christian prince unless I am just a person yeah, different right. different person who represents Christian prince so in the name of Allah is obviously somebody he is speaking in the name of Allah not not Allah and if you ask the Muslims is that the words of the angel Jibreel they say to you no this is the word of Allah so it's not Jibreel saying in the name of Allah it is Allah saying that then he says praise be to okay. Allah Allah saying praise be to Allah and then he says yeah. repeating the same thing he just said before obviously somebody is making up a word it doesn't make sense already you say this word for me and then he says the master of judgment day thee do we worship Allah saying thee do we worship mm -hmm. Allah worship yeah. who yeah. you know and then thin aid we seek Allah seeking the aid of Allah and then show us the strength way well Allah is saying Allah show us a straight way and then he says yeah. uh, uh, the way of those whom you uh, has best uh, the, the grace uh, those who etc it doesn't make sense the whole the whole thing is a joke yeah I agree this is was a copy yeah. from the Christian prayer Muhammad was trying to make a prayer the Christian they have a prayer it's called our father out of heaven okay and Muhammad All trying right. to copy um, from that prayer making I... a prayer of his own yeah okay got it um can I ask you another topic about the uh, those Muslim use about the uh, Muslim argumentation that says that uh, Muhammad uh, prophecy not prophecy but uh, yeah do you know about the actually I've uh, asked about this question before um, about the confirmation from uh, the Christians uh, monks Bahira and the other one uh, Nofal been uh who's that he he's Waraka. his uh how did you sorry uh yeah Waraka bin Nofal, Waraka bin Nofal. Waraka bin Nofal. yeah uh what do you think about that how, how do you respond about that because usually okay the Muslims usually use this as a argumentation that uh, the Christians at that time or Nasrani um uphold his uh, prophethoods what do you think about that well, first of all, they are those are Nasara, or those are not the Christians. And mm -hmm. the Quran never used the word the Christian ever in the whole book. Ever. You see, it says yes, it says Nasara, and we are not Nasara. If you speak to any uh, any any Christian from the Middle East, you ask him, "Are you a Christian or uh -huh. Nasara? Are you a Messihi or Nasara?" He will say to you, "We are Messihi." And, and, and I see. Masihi, I'm not Nasara. Nasara simply it was a name or a title given. To a group of people who they are the same as like Jehovah's Witnesses today, false Christians, rejected the Christians. Uh -huh. So Muhammad, he, Muhammad around him, he never have Christians. He have Nasara, and this is why yes. he speak about those who they are Nasara, not about those who they are Christians. However, the story yes. of Waraq ibn Nufal appears strongly uh, in in the Hadith where it says that uh, when Waraq ibn Nufal he died. Muhammad he stopped receiving inspiration now yeah. why Muhammad he will receive no inspiration no more just because a priest who is not a Christian he is a, a Nasara a priest yes he died why I mean yes. why Allah will stop sending this guy have nothing to do with Muhammad being prophet or not he's just a man old man so why Allah stop sending revelation what happened yes and you will see here that if you read carefully with me, I have it in the screen. It says Khadija mm -hmm. uh, then accompanied him, her cousin, 
uh, to her cousin yeah. ورقة النوفل actually he is not her cousin like their cousin anyway ورقة النوفل ابن أسد ابن عبد العزة ابن قصي ورقة was the yeah. son of uh, etc like uh, uncle of uh, blah 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 the father or brother who is during the pre-Islamic period become a Christian he did not become a Christian this is a lie he became an Asara this guy mm. this guy he was this guy he was a pagan then he became uh, uh, some story to say he, be, he 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 wanted to be a Jew and then he decided to become Nasara which is not a Christian and then he used to write Arabic writing and used to yes. write of the gospel in Arabic that is the Quran mm -hmm. do you see it yeah yeah it's it's proven to us here that there's an Arabic writing in the time of Muhammad which is supposedly Arabic writing of what it's called the gospel of the Nasara not the Christians Mm, all right, I see. and okay. this is where Muhammad was yeah. getting his revelation. This is not revelation. This is the writing of uh, of Waraka. And then you will see uh, that when Waraka he died, it says uh, Muhammad he even tried to commit suicide. Uh, yeah. You will see here, read with me. And then, but a few days after, or after a few days. Waraka died and the divine inspiration was also post. What? Why the divine post for the death of a man? And then the prophet becomes so sad as we have heard that intent, he intended mm -hmm. several times to throw himself from the tops of the high mountains. And in that, and every time he went to, up to the mountain in order to throw himself down, Gabriel, which is Jibreel, would appear to him uh, before him and say, Oh Muhammad, you are indeed uh, Allah Messenger in truth. Whereupon his heart mm. would become quiet and calm down and return home. And then, whenever period coming of the inspiration is stopped or uh, uh, paused again, Muhammad he go again mm. to try to commit suicide. So Muhammad, according to the story, he tried to commit suicide after the death of Waraka because he is not receiving inspiration. Why? Because Waraka is dead. <laughs> Yeah, and now who is, going, who is going to give him inspiration? The inspiration is not inspiration. This is what Waraka was teaching him what to say. So now after okay. the, after after the death of Waraka, Muhammad he have a problem. What he will do? What he will okay. say to people? What he will get the 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 Quran which was reciting before? But as you see, the the Hadith here confirming that Waraka have a book, and most likely Muhammad he got his hand in this book after his death. So he continue. Yeah, and not in not only that. But it took him time before he got the, the solution to read from the book of Waraka. Uh, so it says that he tried to commit suicide. And here the question is a challenge for all the Muslims. Why somebody is a prophet of God, he will do such a thing. Intend and to kill himself. Yes, and many times, not only once. Not like one, two, yes. you know. And why each time he tried to kill himself, the angel come to him and says to him, uh, a truly or an, a prophet that's mean Muhammad himself do not believe he's a prophet that's why he want to kill himself yeah so when he said to him oh yeah wait 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 don't, yeah don't yeah. do it don't do it you are truly a prophet and Muhammad he relax and he go down home I mean mm -hmm. what kind mm -hmm. of a kid this kid is he said this is a behavior of a crazy man like a kid I mean even a kid will not do that why you want to kill yourself so let us say I was a prophet and God stopped sending me a reservation so what so what I would do why I want to kill myself yeah and I've heard that uh, if a Muslim have a big intent to do something, that it's it must be considered. Like if you if uh, they want to do the uh, saum, the fast fast, yes. and they have the the they want to do it, then they uh, it is a very important thing. Then compared to that, in this case, he. But he, but Muhammad himself, he intends to kill himself, so it must be a big thing, isn't it? Yeah, well, this is the prophet. I mean, if the prophet is 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 a, is a is he working is a prophet, to kill yes. himself, yes, so who's right. left? This is this is a work of somebody he don't believe. It's a sample for everybody. And, for and this is actually Muslims. according to Muslim, it's a sin to kill yourself. Like they do commit suicide bombing, it's yeah. halal. This is because this is jihad. But to kill yourself, just to kill yourself, is is, is forbidden. So why the prophet, even Muhammad himself, he said, the one who kill himself by by a, by a knife or a piece of uh, steel, or throwing himself from the high mountain, you know, he will spend his life in eternal life in hellfire. So why you are saying that if you do that, you will go to hellfire? But yet you yourself, you try to throw him yourself from the hell, uh, from the top of the mountain. Okay, you know. Yeah. So 
Yeah. It's it's a chain of contradiction, uh, uh, chain of stupidity, and Muhammad life is very interesting to be explored and love at. Okay, so what do you think about the other one, um, a priest named Bahira? Uh, you know, there is many stories about Bahira, but I, I usually I focus in uh, in the story of Waraka more because I believe that Waraka is the real person who have a real impact on Muhammad life. Uh, okay, if he was exist, I mean Muhammad. Uh, I see. Because Bahira supposedly he was a person who lived in Damascus, and it might be a, uh, not a true story. I'm not sure about it, but yeah, uh, yeah. but uh, Waraka, Waraka, I believe most likely he is the real father of Muhammad. You know, I see. He is a he is a real father because okay. if you if you have my book, you will find that when Muhammad father, according to the stories of Muslims, and I have the reference yeah, there. Yeah, I'm I'm still reading it. Yes, that's yeah. Right. Okay. When when he was going to sleep with Muhammad father, uh, uh, Waraka. Or the sister of Waraka, she offered the father of Muhammad 100 camel to sleep with her. And does it make sense? I see. Uh, most yeah. likely, Waraka he sent his sister to the father of Muhammad, saying to her, trying to convince him not to sleep with that woman, sleep with my sister, because already Waraka sleeping with her. At that time, the Arab yeah. used to, to do something it's called Zawaj al Rah, <laughs> where a woman she yeah. sleeps with many men, and when she got, when she got a, she got a breath net, she decides who is who is the father, you know. So yeah. uh, uh, Waraka, obviously, uh, like there's a story of Muhammad was lost. Where they find him with Waraka. Yeah. Muhammad always can be found with Waraka. This is why when Muhammad, when when uh, Waraka he died, Muhammad was so sad. Yeah. Uh, so because he is he uh, he, he do not he, know any father except Waraka. Most, yeah. Go on. Yeah, this is the only father he know. This is the only real father okay. he know. You know Waraka. You know um, about the. Um, uh, about the Nasara again, um, they mentioned about uh, a, if I'm not mistaken, uh, from Jalal Lion, um, the uh, Nasara so, uh, were supposed to be uh, people who were being straight, weren't they? The, the Nasara I mean, is the, the one who help. Yeah, like, coming from the word, the one who they, like, which means the helpers. You know, the helpers of the of the Messiah. But anyway, that that yeah. that's not true. Uh, you know, the, the, the Muslims always they, they try to mix between Arabic and the origin language. The word Nasara is coming from the Nazareth, and those are Nazareth is not Nas from the Nasara, the city of Jesus. It is from the word yeah. mean poor, the poor in Hebrew. So they are called by the Christians the poor for they have a poor understanding of the Bible, not because they are poor. So they are okay. called the poor. Those are the Nazara people. So Muhammad, he is speaking about them, and he believed that they are the true Christian because those are a Jew. Those are Jews yes. who have been discriminated to, and they run away uh, to, to the Arabian Peninsula. When, when the Christian yes. reject their teaching, they face kind of discrimination during the time of the Roman. So they run yes. away, they run away, escaping from any place have authority of the Roman because yes. simply they are rejected. So... Uh, 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 Muhammad he never met the uh, really Christians he met only Nasara and those Nasara they, they are rejected by the Christian themselves so he Muhammad always having the influence of the Nasara who they have their own idea and Muhammad he learned from the Nasara that Jesus yeah. when he was on the cross he you know it might really appear that he was there but because God he loved his son there is no way he will make the true Jesus you know uh, be crucified so yes it was Jesus but obviously, Jesus, he placed his image. They did not say he's a clone. Yeah. No, they did not say clone as Muhammad say. They say he placed his image, but the true Jesus was not crucified because he is higher than this. So Muhammad, yeah. he took the idea of the crucifixion from the Nasara too. Yeah. You know? So if if they if the Muslim said that uh, the Nasara at that time were people who were astray from the right path, which is Islam, then Waraka himself is not the, he was not a right uh, Muslim or, uh, yes, well, but because Muhammad, is Islamic, but because, but, Islamic Christian, yeah, isn't it? Right, but because Muhammad is a hypocrite man, he, he said that Waraka will go to heaven. Why? Ah, well, I see. It doesn't make sense, you know, because if he is Nasara, you know how you will go to heaven it doesn't make yeah, sense yeah, yeah. Yeah. but so, you know it's a, 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 a full of contradictions yeah of it's, it is the, argumentation. the real i believe strongly muhammad he is the maid of his father 
he continued the mission of his father, which is Warakh ibn Nawfal. He created a cult of his own, you know, and he, mm, okay. and he wanted Muhammad to be like a priest of the cult. And not, it's not about being a prophet, really, you know. Uh, and Muhammad, he yeah. carried on, <laughs> he carried on with the message, which is the message of his father, which is Warakha, you know. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, my friend, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm, uh, there is some okay. people trying to call, so I'm going to, uh, yeah. uh, I, I have Thank to, you. you know, give you Thank enough time. You, and maybe some other yeah. people who are trying to call, uh, they can call us. You can feel free to okay, call again, you. please. All right, thank you. Thank you, my friend. Okay, God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Uh, 